So guys, I am back with another Starfield video and today guys, I bring you 5 plus glitches, tips, tricks, exploits, farms that still work after the latest patch for this game. You want to earn XP, you want to earn those credits, today I have you covered. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we're going to start off with what in my opinion is the best uh, credit farm in the game you can earn 160,000 credits literally every minute or so and it starts within this place right here you need to come to Neria and you can see souls right there you can see Alpha Century is right there now we have Neria now Neria is a special place because it beholds this wonderful docking station called the Stroud Eklund Star Yard so you want to come to this place guys now when you jump here again you will have to dock to the space station but once you get here it's unbelievable now if i was in a faster ship I, it would take me a quarter of the time but my i still i do need to add i need to add engines to the back of it it's just too slow but other than that it's a beast okay so we'll get there in the end guys don't worry we'll get there in the end we'll get there don't worry don't worry people we're getting slowly but surely but this is definitely worth it okay so it's just docking and i'll show you where to go now this is broke this is just utterly broke 160,000 credits every time you do this and you can do it so fast it's crazy it's crazy now this video will feature uh XP farms, credit farms, weapon farms, you name it. Okay, so, you know, for a second then I thought I was in third person playing the server. Okay, so yes, let's come this way. As soon as you've ducked in, come towards this wall right here. Now you're aiming for this because we're going to literally clip straight through this wall. Now you have to be careful because you can fall straight through and you'll end up back at the start of this uh, docking station. So, literally walk up to this, guys. And you can see slowly but surely you'll clip through so if you go too far you fall straight through like that now the best way to do this is literally to stand this way on like that because we're going to come through this wall guys and we're going to grab the ship services chest which is out of bounds out of the map and it beholds 160,000 credits in it so come this way slightly press forward and slightly press right and you'll clip through now if you got um actually this is where you want to be now you want to have this skill, this skill is absolutely a must to do this, the boost pack training skill, you need this, simple as that. Okay, so once you're here guys, simply walk forward, just like so, keep your crosshairs aimed on this wall, just like so, walk forward, and then you're perfectly fine. Now if you're going to third person, you can see that the chest is right there. If you can't see that, I'll go down quickly into that photo mode and show you. There you go, right there. Now this chest beholds 160,000 credits yes it does so from here guys you got a jump boost boost make sure your crosshair is on the chest and if you're on console just press x so you lock on and go into the chest inventory okay so let's go one two and there we go guys simple as that 160,000 credits take them and you are good here people Okay, so to reset this, you want to do the usual thing, which I'll showcase at the end of the video. And this is the best way to reset any farm I showcase to you today. And that is to go to Venus, which is right here in the uh, constellation of Sol. So come to Sol. Come in here, guys. Travel to Venus. Once you land on your ship, um, just skip time by six hours on your ship. Therefore, any farm I showcase to you today will reset. But we'll come back to that at the end of the video guys so yes that is in my opinion the best way to get credits in the game 160,000 every minute or so unbelievable okay so next up guys i'm going to show you the triple chest exploit within aquila city this is unbelievable people so you need to come to cheyenne right here click on this guys click inside of here and you want to come to aquila and then you want to load into Aquila City. Just here. Simple as this, people. So I'm going to have to set course and then jump and then land there. But I'll cut the video, guys, and I'll catch you back in a second. Okay, guys, so we are on Aquila City. Now, 
this place is home to three chests that you can glitch. They all give you credits, but it's not much in regards to the amount. One's like 5,000, one's 1,000, other one's a couple more thousand. But what they do give you is basically infinite ammo and many, many other materials. So yeah, it's definitely worth your time doing, especially for the ammo. So the first chest is located right by Shepherd's General Store. And to get this one, you can see all my stuff here from earlier. <laughs> So, uh, to get this perfect, you want to come up to this spinny thing right here, right outside the shop. Probably put your flashlight on if it's dark, and you just want to walk backwards until you see that first puddle. This puddle right here. This is what we're looking for. Now, if you crouch down, guys, you'll see right there that there's an, a shop inventory full within this chest. I mean, you can grab whatever you want. I'm just going to go and take all these ammo because that's what I need. Med packs, shit parts I would take, but they just over encumber me. But I mean, if you look here, guys, there's so much things here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you need, but it's definitely worth his time coming and checking out. Um, there may be different things in here for you too. I'm not sure, but actually got space suits and all sorts in here, guys. All sorts in here, guys. Okay, so yeah, just keep coming down. You can see it's absolutely so much here it's unbelievable okay so the other chest guys is right over here by this blue rug now i think this one you may have to go into third person i'm not sure so if you crouch down and go here oh no you don't have to go into third person for this one so yeah you can see it's right about there now this one Who's pushing me? Why are you pushing me? Move NPC, you pain in the ass. Messing up my video and shit. So this one's got 1,200 credits in. Not the greatest. Uh, but again, there are lots of drinks here and that. If that's what you're into, probably not. Okay, so the third chest. This one I believe you do have to get into a uh, third person for. And this one's a little trickier to get. So I was going to third person here. And I believe it's by these big rocks. Will you get out of my way, Sarah? So if you crouch down, I can see it right there. So you can see if you look at the rail, you see the one rock right there. If you look a bit further down here, it's like in between. And there we have it there. This one also has, it actually got more credits in than the fort. It's got 4,500, so take them. Grab all that ammo too, guys. Why not? Take all that shit. Now there's weapons in here too. So yeah, keep that in mind. And those are the three chests you can basically constantly farm over and over now the fastest way to farm these chests isn't going to venus i mean you can sit down on this chair you'd have to do it for 48 hours uh, 24 hours at a time or guys what you can do to make it quicker on yourself if you want to take advantage of this is go to another planet within the same system it's called skink i do believe this one right here so if you go here guys if you come here and basically build an outpost and then skip time here. I'm not sure exactly. I think it could be an hour. I think skip time here by one hour. So let's say you land there. I actually will do this because it's not something I've actually tested myself. So yeah, let's land there. But if you have got, if you come here and create an outpost and put a sleeping bag down, you skip a lot of the, uh, the loading screens and all that rubbish. But yeah, I think it's literally just one hour. You skip one hour here. My ship's so bloody big, man. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. This is a stronghold, by the way. You buy this actually on Aquila uh, from the ship dude there. It's the, by far the best ship you can get in this game without building, in my opinion, that is. It just needs a couple of engines on the back of it. So if you come here, guys, sit down or get in your bed and skip time by one hour. And if you go back to Aquila, all those chests will have respawned. So literally, guys, one hour. I'd, yeah, one, it's, I'm sure it's one hour. And there we go. We are done. So if I go back to Aquila now, uh, and you should see that all of those chests will have um, reset. Not that I can remember where Aquila is. Uh, where are you? There you go, right there. It's the first one I went to. I'm an idiot. I am tired. Cut me some slack, people. Okay, so I'll go back here and land. Now, sometimes when you come back here and the chests haven't reset, you need to speak to the vendor. So if we go to Shepherd's uh, store now and the chest hasn't got the credits in it, it probably won't have the ammo in it either. You need to speak to the vendor and I'll showcase that to you right now. 
quite simple though. Quite simple, people. But hey, unlimited ammo. I mean, ammo is a pain in the ass for some weapons in this game. It really is. Uh, so I'm glad of this exploit, which will probably get patched sooner or later. And um, we can come out third person now. Just just run back here. Oh, lag. Frames were dropping. Now if we go back to that first puddle, remember, come to this. Step backwards until you see that first puddle. Crouch down. It's somewhere there. You can see, look, the actual ammo and the credits are not there. So what you do is, guys, you speak to the vendor. Let's talk to him. Go into his supplies, as he says, back out. And you'll see now, when you go back out there, that the credits will now be here, which is weird. I don't understand how, why this works like this, but there you go, they're right there. And again, guys, I can just grab all that ammo again. They can do this for all three of these vendors over and over. Simple as that, guys. It's actually got more ship parts in here than it had last time. So things definitely rotating here. So it's probably got other things towards the bottom as well. So again, great, great, great farm for infinite ammo and many, many other materials as well as credits as well. But hey, if you want credits, you may as well use that first one. It's way, way better. Okay, so now guys, I'm gonna showcase to you another credit glitch you can use and abuse. This one takes place on Alpha Centruv in the tutorial area within Jameson. You wanna to come to this beautiful place right here in New Atlantis. So just come here, guys, and I'll showcase you this glitch. This is the one where you clip through the wall. I mean, this one for me, so it's so inconsistent. It's why I stopped doing it. I mean, I made about six or seven hundred thousand. I wasted money on different things which I didn't need. Uh, but I just got fed up with this one. The first money, the first credit glitch I showcased you is way better. But that can also be a little bit tricky in regards to the jumps. This one don't take no jumps really. Um, so yes, you can see where we're at, guys. Right by the um, docking station. Now this is the vendor whose chest we will be exploiting. Now every time you reset this, this is the best place to reset this it is... Um, at Venus but every time you do this you want to come back to this guy and speak to him before you go and try and get the chest again because sometimes you'll clip out the map and what the heck and his chest will be empty so always speak to him upon you doing this now how this works is in in like practice it's quite simple you need to stand right here well you don't actually have to stand here this isn't this isn't anything to do with it this is the wall we can actually clip through and how this works is guys you need to apply a melee weapon um, my melee weapon is what the hell am I doing with that I've got a sword and I can use an axe you can use a knife you can use whatever I'm using a big old dirty axe now you need to come to third person and if you don't know about this glitch simply if you jump run jump and block when you land you sometimes teleport forward and this can be used to clip through certain walls just like that this wall right here we can clip straight through now it is a bit of a pain in the ass to do so what i do is i take a run up from this lamppost here keep my crosshairs on the wall and you want to jump and you want to land about so your left foot's about there while looking there i'm pressing block in mid air so i'll show you how it, do how it works it's quite hard to get down so if you just run, jump, and do that, that's exactly how you want to do it. And if you teleport, I'd say five times out of ten, you're probably going to go through the wall. Just like that. It's it's a bit of a pain in the ass again, like I said. The first credit method I showcase you today is definitely the best, in my opinion. But once you get this down, some people can do this perfect every time. I'm just not one of them people. I'm just not one of them people. But we'll get it eventually, don't worry. We'll get it eventually. Oh, that was so close. Some people say you don't have to block uh, with the melee weapon. I mean, that does not work for me. I tried that the other day and it did not work for me. There we go, guys. I'm not going to lie. I almost give up with that. Uh, but yes, as you could see, I was just literally standing on that the, the ledge I said to jump to and just trying it from there and it worked. It worked fine. But yes, okay. So this is a chest. 72,000 within here. Now, if you can get the clipping through the wall down, this is super, super fast too. Not as fast as the first method, 
yeah, if you can get this um, down, it's a great, great farm. It's not as good as the first method, like I said, but it's still pretty good. Okay, so to reset this as well, the best place to go to is to Venus. Again, I'll showcase that to you in a second. Okay, so now guys, I'm going to showcase to you a OP weapons chest for early players. Now, this is again on New Atlantis, but we're just going to go to a different area. In fact, guys, you want to go to the mast district. You don't want to go to the lodge. So you want to come to you guys, the mast district. This is where you want to come to you guys. Uh, so I'm guessing you can just fast travel to this. Yes, you can. Okay, so come here, guys. Unless you're in orbit, make your way to where you got to go. Then come down to here. So you're spawning here, guys. You want to come up here, make a sharp left turn. And you want to come this way. Now you can see right there, guys, we have the distribution center that is a weapon vendor and it sells actually some powerful weapons now i've got some decent weapons i've been farming a lot more so than i've been playing the game and leveling up um but yeah i'll show you the the vendor and what she sells and some of the weapons you can get now all these weapons you will be able to get for 100 percent free i'll show you how to do this okay so let's just go in here pretty cool guys it's pretty cool guys okay so this woman right here again though when you reset when you go to venus and come back you need to speak to the vendor first before you do this glitch otherwise there's a chance that when you get under the map and get to this chest it can be empty now she sells more than just her weapons by the way but look how beautiful some of these are beast by the way great weapon there's some amazing things right here and they do roll as well. These weapons roll after a certain time. I'm not sure how long it takes, but they definitely roll. A lot of these were not here when I last come. But yes, these are getting taken. And we've got space suits as well, guys. I'm actually looking for a space suit with that uh, chameleon on it. Actually, that's badass looking. Some of these are bad. I wish Transmog was in this game. I really do. Uh, but yes, she sells all kinds of things, people. All kinds of things, people. Okay, so... To get to her chest, this is what you've got to do. Again, if you have those amps, it's way easier. But if you don't have those amps, do not worry about it. You can still get to it. So what you want to do, guys, is you need to. Well, once it loads, this game will load in the next box so long. So you want to have, again, guys, you need to have this cell. You need to have this. One point into this will be perfectly fine, but you need it really. Okay, so come out of the shop come out of the vendor and come to your left and you want to go up here so just run all the way around up here now we're going to jump onto that roof now if you have those amps this is so much easier you literally guys can just run around you, you can just literally run up that way jump up that way run around jump on here and jump up there without amps though this is what you got to do come to this way jump and boost and boost and boost don't know why i'm in third person you don't have to be in third person for this okay so jump up on here guys just like so and you want to get onto that roof there so again jump oh shit completely didn't press jump there like an idiot so jump and boost and boost there we go now guys we're going to run around here run around here okay so let's keep coming this way you've probably seen this um this was the original method. This was the original way to get out of the map to go and get that, that chest we just got without clipping through the wall. Uh, but there's actually a lot of people missed the actual weapons chest that you can get to. Uh, the vendor we just went to here. So from here, guys, jump down, but use your boost so you don't break any bones or anything. And from here, guys, you want to go see that red floor in there? That's where we got to get to. So I'm just going to run this way. Again, if you've got amp, you can simply jump that, jump from off the floor here straight up there but because we don't it's hard to do now you can see the chest there floating that is the chest for that vendor so to do this guys it's quite quite easy actually so you see that you see the, the chest there just walk right you'll hit water now once you hit the water just walk forward until you fall there we go now you want to step backwards into it slowly and then you want to go left until you fall so that way, guys, you're, in, you're at the corner. So go back into it and you're at the corner. This is where you want to be. This is just where you want to be. 
So once you start to proceed the platform, you can jump back. You can jump onto the platform if you want to, but I promise you, without amp, you are not reaching that chest. So look, I'll show you. Well, I probably will now because I got a boosted up booster, but no, I still can't even reach it. Again, amp. It's so much easier than it shoots. You jump twice as high. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to go back into that water, line yourself up with that, and just jump across. You hit the water. You want to go as left as far as possible again and forward as far as possible again so yeah let me go right at the corner now what you want to do guys is you want to get above the chest and then jump towards it you don't want to get too high because you'll end up going back into the map and you don't want that because otherwise you have to come back out of the map again so you want to get to about there and then when you get to the chest just press x on it there you go all of these shiz you can now take whatever you want uh, so what did I like? I definitely liked a couple of these things. Um, where was that one weapon I like the look of? Yeah, we like that. We like the look of that. Is that not the same weapon? I think it is. Hey. Okay, so space suits. There's nothing here we really want, to be honest. I mean, that one's quite good. But hey. Packs. Nope. Nothing for me. Helmets. N nothing for me. Troubles. We take all that shit. We take all that shit aids no i don't want shit parts resources again guys there's so much in here credits take the credits of course we do so yes again now uh to skip this skip this vest again go to venus skip time by six hours which i'll show you in a quick second before we get onto our final uh well the farm for this uh, video which is going to be xp farms okay so Keep in mind that whatever you take from that chest will be stolen goods, as you can see. Now to clear these guys, it's quite simple and I'll quickly show you how you do this. So you want to go to a system called Wolf, which is right nearby somewhere here. There it is right there. So go here, guys. And you want to go to the den right there. So click on the den, set course, jump there. And you want to go here. Okay, so it's obviously a space station as you can see, so you want to boost towards it. Um, again, my, my ship's so slow. I'm going to have to definitely edit this in a bit. I've got the credits now, people. I've got the credits because I've been stealing all day. That's what we do, people. That's what we do. Okay, so as soon as you can duck, duck onto it. There we go. Now, I know it isn't contraband, but some places will still color you for this. So, yes. This is how you get around that free of charge, by the way. Now, if you have got contraband, um, this is definitely the place to come and sell it. This vendor does buy it off you. That's cool. So this is how you clear that stolen status on your gear. So this is the vendor you want to talk to. So let's come to him. Like what you see, what you got for sale. Simple. Then you want to click on sell tab. And go to your weapon and whatever weapon's got that uh, stolen thing on it sell both of these then guys go back to the uh buy tab which we're on now and go to buy back these cost exactly the same so you haven't lost any money and grab them simple as that that's all you got to do and your items are yours and they're cleared of that stolen status which is cool as you can see no stolen weapons people so there we have it Okay, so guys, I'll show you now how to reset any of the vendors I've showcased you today. Um, doesn't matter what they are. The first one, which was the best XP uh, credit farm. That was incredible. The ones we just did there on uh, New Atlantis. This is the best way to reset them. So you want to come to Sol. And you want to come to Venus. And you want to land at Venus. So set a course for Venus, just like so. Now, Venus is the best place, in my opinion, to skip that time. So we just want to open planet map and we just want to go to here and we're just going to land. Simple as this, my beautiful people, simple as this. Again, this resets every vendor in the game the fastest way possible. So you just want to go back onto your ship 
you can do if you haven't got an outpost here and a sleeping bag this is what you gotta do board your, uh, your ship go to a bed go to a chair just like this and skip time by six hours skipping time by six hours on venus will reset all vendors i've showcased for you today guys it's as simple as that okay so we're going to move on to in my opinion the best xp farm in this game without crafting now as you know i've already uploaded a video to my channel the best way to earn xp to level up in this game is definitely to find a planet um, and to farm and craft materials craft or well, farm materials and craft items this will earn you a ton of xp it's fast on pc or well, it's fast on xbox but it's even faster on pc it's like 20 times faster on pc uh, now that video is a long video to set it all up i'll link it in the video description if you do want to check it it was uploaded to my channel by my friend easy now again it will be linked down below if you want to see the fastest way to earn xp but if you ain't into crafting if you don't want to be building things the fastest xp farm i'll show you right now so go back to your star map and this is super super ridiculous it consists of hundreds of enemies that swarm your ass they can just take them out real easy so you want to come all the way to the right and i mean far as you can as you can see probably best if i zoom out keep coming keep coming keep coming um the planet is one of these i can't remember its exact name this one here strix so guys we just want to come here i should be able to jump here my ship's badass you want to come to strix one this is where you want to come to so set course i'm going to jump you may have to uh travel in between but hey and if i open the planet up if it gets out of my way open planet map now as you can see guys let me just scan the area what you want to do guys is you want to land in those aluminium crater areas so like this here um any i wouldn't go into the colder areas like here uh these areas are fine that area that i was doing yesterday is fine and um, places like this should be oh no that's copper but places like that should be fine but any of these guys you want to land in now we're just going to go here set landing target and we're just going to land now what you'll notice is guys that there's going to be swarms of enemies within the air these are just ridiculously easy to kill now to boost your xp gains i'll show you what you have to do it's quite easy it's dark it's dark we hate the dark we hate the dark but it doesn't matter it does not matter so to boost xp games you want to get up off your ship um or get up in your ship and you want to go to your bed if you sleep for i believe 12 hours right here it boosts your xp by 10 percent for 25 minutes if you've got a companion and you sleep for 12 hours you get 25% XP in total. You get 15% for having a companion with you. So yes. Now as you can see guys, these creatures are in the air. Now it's a bit dark. In fact, what I'll do is I'll quickly skip time. I'll cut the video so you can see them. You can see loads there. In fact, I don't have to. You can see them. It doesn't really matter. Now what I would do from here guys is I'd make sure your game is on easy. Because it makes killing these even easier. There we go. Now you can kill them with your cutter. You can kill them with any weapon. If you've got plenty of ammo, which you should have, um, you watching this video, uh, you can use your ammo. But if you haven't, use your cutter. So all you want to do, guys, is simply just shoot a couple. Now you'll notice it it basically kites them all in. It kites them all towards you. And there's going to be loads here. You can shoot the fire ones too. So they come. They will all come. There's, I mean, there's absolutely, when I say there's tons of these guys, there's absolutely tons of these things. They are absolutely everywhere. There's quite more towards you. You can see them all there. And these all give you XP. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll skip to, let's say, where's my trick shot on my ember? My ember not here. Oh, there it's right there. I'm running past it. I'll just, use, I'll just literally take them all out. And uh, I haven't actually applied the XP buffs. I don't think I have anyway, did I? Actually, I might have a Venus just. I might have got the Wild Rested buff. 
But you can see the XP gains is unbelievable. How much you're getting just in a short amount of time. It is scandalous, guys. It really is. And it's, they're so easy to kill. These can give you between, I think it's like between 20. Some of them will actually give me 150 plus XP per one. Which is just wild. Absolutely wild. See that one give me 20. You'll notice some of them is at actual real high levels too. I mean, it's just it's just scandalous. It's just absolutely scandalous. Now, if you run around this area, there's hundreds of these guys absolutely everywhere. And because I got like easy guys, they just do no damage to me. Absolutely no damage at all to me. So again, this is by far, in my opinion, the best XP farm in the game. Without building, crafting, uh, and setting up outposts on certain planets and things like that. This is just ridiculous. Again, you can use your cutter if you want to, but if you've got, I mean, cut is quite quick. But if you've got the ammo in your weapons, you may as well do that. It's entirely up to you. Cutter works just as good. But there we have it, guys. Again, roam the map. You'll find hundreds of these fellas. I mean, if I was just to run in that direction there, you'll see it. Look at look at what's going on here. What is going on there? Look at all these guys. Just way more. Just they're, they're absolutely everywhere. And it's always for me within the uh, aluminium areas. So once you clear more like this area, get back on your ship, scope out the planet, land in another aluminium area, and just you'll find these everywhere. Now, if you go to the coasts on this planet, there are actually loads of them weird horse things as well. I mean, they give you a little more XP, but there's nowhere near as many as what there are of these here. So yeah, it's actually getting lighter now. But you'll see guys, these things are, you could probably see them in the distance all the way back there in the sky and shit. They're everywhere. But yeah, there we have it guys. In my opinion, the best XP farm in the game without building and crafting. And there we have it people for another video. Guys, if you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.